Joining us now is Naomi Zeit. The 19-year-old has been described as the European anti-Greta. Naomi, thank you very much for joining us tonight. So I just want to start off in asking you, how did you get into politics and why at this time? Uh, well, actually, I've been very interested in political philosophy for many years now. Uh, it started in 2015 with the migration crisis in Germany, and I started becoming kind of a political skeptic um, in all kinds of political fields. And then in 2019, I started looking into the research uh, behind climate change because I realized that climate change was becoming a very popular topic, even though it should be a scientific topic it's been heavily politicized. And so I had to look into that one as well. And you're right. It has been very much so heavily politicized. And of course, the Greta that I was referring to in your introduction is Greta Thunberg. She's someone who has very much so made that topic a political one. And it's one that we're having all over the world, especially here in the U.S. I mean, it's something that very, uh, progressives and those on the more left part of the Democratic Party kind of use as almost a rallying cry, something that they say needs to be addressed right now. Otherwise, it may be too late. What is your kind of counter to those people or what is your message to them who kind of use that as kind of a rallying cry for voters? I think that's just awful um, because most of the people who talk about climate change don't actually know what they are talking about. Uh, those people are celebrities, politicians, or a young girl who has never really um, looked into the science or the economic implications of what she is advocating for. And so what we really need to start doing is becoming scientific skeptics again and to allow people on both sides uh, not just anyone, but scientists uh, to have proper discussions again. And I think that's a really good point because a lot of times, too, we especially see it on cable television. We'll see people having the debates. And to the point that you made before, it is often a political debate. It's not one based on science. I mean, I could tell you where a lot of politicians stand on these topics. I couldn't really tell you much of the science behind it because that's not really what's reported as much. And I think that's an interesting point that you bring up. So acknowledging that point, too, of how they deal with the green issues both in Europe and the United States, how would you respond to the way that they cover it? Do you think that they're misplaced in the way they do so? Or do you think that they do have some things correct? I think that they are just spreading panic. And that's what's, what's so horrible about all of this, because especially young people are really terrified of their own future and uh, they blame their parents for it. So it tears apart relationships, it ruins uh, friendships and uh, family relationships. And um, that is really what got, got me into activism for the other side. And I want to um, spread hope again and show people that actually I think we are not destroying the planet with CO2 emissions. And I think that there is no causal relationship at all between uh, rapid and uh, irreversible um, catastrophic warming uh, in the atmosphere and CO2 emissions. And, you know, a lot of people, too, especially those who are a little bit older, always look at the younger generation and say, you'll learn someday or something along those lines. You know, I'm sure you've heard it before. Uh, it uh, sometimes comes off a little, as a little condescending, if I'm going to be honest. But I think that the younger generation, actually, to your point that you were saying, does have a lot of hope. I mean, you, we already see that they care about each other, that they're very passionate about politics, about certain issues as well. And we do see a lot of young women like yourself uh, coming out and kind of speaking truth to power, kind of bringing different perspectives. In. And I think that is so important to have those type of debates. So I want to let you kind of respond to maybe some of your critics or just talk to young people across the country in general about what your response is to the political climate among young people. If you want to go out and protest for something that you truly believe in, then that's awesome. And I completely support you. But please make sure to do your re research beforehand and really know what you're talking about. Um, I don't have a, pro a problem with Fridays for Future and Greta Thunberg, and that's why I don't label myself the anti-Greta. Uh, I want people to become scientific skeptics and even challenge me and my views and continue doing their own research. That is important that we start having proper discussions and debates again and that we let everyone talk about their own views and what they find out. I don't think you can say it any better than that. Naomi Zeit, thank you very much for joining us, and thank you for all the work that you're doing on this issue.